String theory was supposed to be a theory of everything, deep down to the idea everything is made of tiny wiggling strings. The most interesting thing about string theory so far has been that it never attracted as much attention as it did, because despite the grand claims, it turned out to be rather useless. Until now. Because I just came across a new paper with the most lovely use of string theory. Let's have a look. As a theory of everything, string theory needs to be made into a quantum theory. It's this quantum version that then requires 10 dimensions, supersymmetry and a multiverse. This caused a lot of problems without ever actually solving any. In the past 10 years or so, the interest in string theory as a theory of everything has collapsed and I think it's for the better. That said, string theory as a mathematical framework is so general, you'd expect it to be useful for something else. Physicists have tried, for example, to use it to describe the quark-gluon plasma or certain types of metals, but it didn't work well and not much came out of it. This new research now comes from an entirely different direction. It comes from a group who works on network theory. I don't mean social networks in particular, but general networks networks that are everything made of some sort of nodes connected by links. The cool thing about networks is that they describe a huge variety of things, anything from economics to chemical reactions to materials to blood vessels. The new paper looks in particular at the latter, biological networks like blood vessels and neurons. The previous theory had it that these grow under the constraint that the network keeps the total length of the branches to the minimum necessary for function. If you assume that the network grows with this constraint, keep length minimal, you get a very specific kind of geometry. In particular, you get branches that split in two, not three or more. And these two outgoing splits lie in the same plane as the ingoing one. It's called a Steiner tree. The Steiner tree is beautiful maths, but unfortunately nature didn't read the textbook. If you look at real biological networks, plants, roots, neurons, blood vessels and so on, that's not what they look like. This problem has been open for a long time. The authors now said, OK, maybe the issue here is the quantity we're optimizing for. Let's not look at the network in terms of the volume, but in terms of its surface area. You basically have a lot of connected empty channels now. And that looks very much like the interactions they use in string theory, in particular with what's called closed strings. Closed strings are basically loops. If you depict their motion in time, then they sweep out an empty tube. If they split into two, then that looks kind of like upside down trousers. And that is very similar to the problem that these network people were looking at. And so they literally took the string theory maths, the number go to action in particular, but without quantum effects, and used that to minimize the surface area of the biological networks. String theorists have spent decades developing mathematical tools to find surfaces with minimal area, especially when those surfaces branch and merge. And the equations are the same. That turned out to work very well. They get three-way splits and they don't lie in a plane either. Better still, there's good explanations for it. It's that the symmetry is broken because the outgoing channels don't have the same width, so they don't have the same surface area. If they take a limit where the channels are all very thin compared to the typical distance between nodes, they recover the Steiner tree with only two splits and planar symmetry. But the string theory approach successfully generalizes this. The authors also check their results against data. Human neurons, fruit fly neurons, blood vessels, trees, corals, plants. The statistics line up remarkably well. The frequency of the three-way junctions, angle distributions, the prevalence of right-angle branches all match the predictions of the string theory model. Interestingly, the model doesn't just work for networks whose branches are genuinely hollow like blood vessels, but any for which the growth requirement is minimal surface area for one reason or another. That might be to minimize material or tension or interactions with the environment, etc. So the model is much more general than it sounds at first. I give this a 0 out of 10 on the bullshit meter. I find this a remarkable paper for various reasons. 
One is that it's an idea of the why didn't I think of this sort. Like, it seems so obvious, doesn't it? The second one is that it's a lovely example of how interdisciplinary research can be useful. The third and maybe most important reason is that it's got genuinely practical implications, not just to understand how these biological networks grow, but also for design purposes in, say, microfluidic devices or to understand how certain materials behave. So after 40 years, string theory finally found its destiny and its fruit fly neurons. I wonder what Ed Witten would say about this. Hello. Hi, Ed. Well, at least it's a theory of something. Fruit flies in ten dimensions. Go for it, I say. Bye. If you ever get the feeling that the news is more about storytelling than facts, Ground News is worth a look. Ground News is a news platform for people who value facts. They collect and summarize news, which has been published all over the world. They collect all articles on the same story in one place and give you a quick summary, which is a huge time saver. And they give you a lot of extra information that you don't find in the standard media. Take, for example, this recent story, which welcomes comes the demise of climate catastrophism. This was basically only covered on the political right. Ground News also gives you a factuality check, which in this case is mostly low or mixed. It also tells you who owns the media outlets and where the stories appeared. Ground News also has this great feature called Blind Spot. This tells you which news has been almost exclusively covered only by one side of the political spectrum. I found Ground News to be super useful for checking whether a story is being blown out of proportion, ignored or distorted. If you want to try it out, make sure to use my link ground.news/sabine or use the QR code. That'll get you 40% off of their Vantage plan with access to all their features. So go and check it out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.